Welcome to Citizen Concerned, where we remind you to beware of the comrades. I'm Kat Lera and would appreciate it if you subscribed to our YouTube channel, liked and shared this video with other citizens. You left your gate wide open and all of a sudden your neighbor's child came to stay with you because your gate was wide open. You were reckless, obviously, irresponsible, and now you must share your food, electricity, water, and clothes with your neighbor's child. To make matters worse, someone in your family even starts claiming that the neighbor's child is a member of your family. When you want to send your children to zoos, your neighbor's child wants to be sent to the zoo as well. Eventually, your children unite and say, we don't think this neighbor's child is one of us. And guess what? They are definitely right. This child is not one of your children. So guess what? No zoo for that child, right? The resources were becoming too little to satisfy all your children. It is their right to tell you as a father to make sure you lock the gate and avoid more children entering your house to avoid unwelcome strangers, strangers that have not been catered for in the family budget. That is a fact. They are right. So now, since you're not sending this child from next door to the zoo with your own money, the neighbor then invites their child back in order to send them to the zoo. Good for them and good for that child. That's not all. Other neighbors even try to make your kids feel bad by banning them from playing with their children. Imagine that. This is what has just happened in South Africa. We are now being treated like we are wrong as South Africans to demand clarity when we smell something fishy within our home. Miss Universe Nigeria has just invited Chidima Adechina to come in contest for the Miss Universe in Nigeria. And in other galaxies, the organizers of Miss Universe Nigeria have invited South Africa-based Chidima Adechina to join this year's pageant. This after she withdrew from participating in Miss South Africa, which is currently taking place on S3, following controversies around her nationality. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, is that supposed to make us feel some type of way about it? You know what? We are happy for her. Like, we are happy for her. May she prosper and do well there. This is what foreigners that find themselves in South Africa should be doing. When it is time to compete for national beauty pageants, go do it back where you come from. When it is time to vote, go vote where you come from. Don't vote here. Yeah? Don't compete here. Yeah? You can come and work here yeah, if you qualify with your skills. Hey, you can even marry us and then our kids can become South Africans, but not you. Instead of accepting this law in our family, there are those among us who say we should simply accept this neighbor's child simply because they are black. <laughs> Would you apply that same logic in your personal life with your personal resources? Would you? Ridiculous. What I don't like in all of this is the victimization of Chidima Adechina. Do not bully her. Do not insult her. Do not harass her. We are here for the facts, for the truth, not for petty, mean insults. Honestly, I wish her well. But if you are not South African and you hold an ID that was issued to you under false pretenses, we will not beat about the bush. Facts first, cry later. If your mom committed the identity theft, then she and her helper must go to prison. Straightforward and simple. Still, do not bully her. Do not bully her mother. Let the law take its course. identity theft or just being a victim of impersonal. Please keep quiet. Because you will never understand how painful that thing is. For more than 12, 14 years, I was living on a letter from the SAFPS. And every two years I had to update it. I, for everything that I was applying for, I had to have a reference number from them. I would call, I need an updated letter. I was struggling to find jobs because um, I would go to interviews and pass and boom, I'm on ITC, like in training, busy bed, and only when I provide that letter, it will be proven that, oh, guys, Guys, 
Many people are suffering because of identity theft and we cannot be expected to ignore it, simply play nice when there is so much pain. So we should not be concerned about that, huh? People are getting their ID suspended and their bank accounts frozen. The guy that you've been speaking to from 2010 with regarding my ID document, how far are you with the story? He says he's been left in limbo waiting nearly four years for a new ID that he says has been issued six times, no, mama, but I, I not to him. Raymond Ayasi is the after, victim of identity I theft. His I'm ID was fraudulently issued six years. times since 2011, mm. and, and now there's a series of fraud and drug-related charges against his name. You know, when I, when I spoke to the guy in Home Affairs, you know, I, he then punched my ID number, and then he showed me on the screen where all these issues have been taking place, you know, with the phone numbers of the person that have collected the ID. Okay, Unemployed and unable to secure work due to the criminal charges, Dayasi says his rights as a South African have been grossly violated. He says he's given up hope. The police are aware of this case. The Home Affairs is aware of this case. Look at the period from 2010 till this time. I haven't received the ID. On those bases, I've lost faith. An online check on the Home Affairs website has shown that there are no duplication using Raymond's identity number. And another check as to the status of his application for a new ID document has shown that the documents are the Pretoria head office awaiting processing. But this is not the case. Raymond's ID has been issued six times and he's been told that he won't be issued with a new document until Home Affairs have conducted their own investigation into the matter. They find themselves with criminal records or owing banks millions when they never applied for any loans. But guess what? Shut your mouth and stop asking silly xenophobic questions. Chidima is South African, you bigot. Yes, Mara, her mother might have stolen someone's identity in order to give Chidima an ID. Shut up. Don't be racist. What about white people? That white person this and that white person that. <laughs> If they are white people with fake documents or no documents, the same law applies. Home Affairs needs to sort out their performance on everyone. That's it. This Mexican organization that hosts literature international festivals has now barred South Africa from attending. <laughs> the guests from South Africa who were supposed to attend were also barred from attending. <laughs> Listen to this, I quote. It is with a sense of sadness that we acknowledge the distressing events in South Africa, where the apparatuses of the state, coupled with the troubling silence of many within the cultural sphere, have enabled a climate of mob rule. This has led to the victimization of Chidima Adichina, her family, and members of immigrant communities in South Africa, thus undermining the very principle of justice, equality, and humanity human dignity that literature seeks to uphold. We cannot in good conscience honor a country as a focal point of our celebration when it is currently embroiled in such profound injustice as has been currently gathering momentum following the Miss South Africa beauty pageantry. A climate of mob justice. <laughs> when citizens demand answers, they say it's mob justice. Apparently, we committed injustices. Crazy, huh? And although this is a Mexican festival, at the end, the document is signed by Ikena Oke, <laughs> a man who owns a company called Ubuntu Radio. Look at him and his followers here. <laughs> Ikena Oke. I think we all know that's a Nigerian man there, huh? But it matters not. Nigerians are basically demanding us to accept crimes in South Africa. Look at the comment of another one of them. And I quote, All Nigerians everywhere in the world must speak now and withdraw its services to South Africa until a formal apology. Here's another one. Good move. I hope more organizations follow suit. You can't be xenophobic and be hoping you can shamelessly host international events. Simple as that. Dear Nigerians, if you are offended by us as South Africans trying to make sure that South African laws are being followed, then keep your services. I'm sure there are some Nigerians who can see that this is the right thing for us to do. Dear South Africans, we have problems in this country, it is true. 
We have corruption in this country. It is true. We don't have enough skills of our own in this country. That is also true. But guess what? South Africa is still one of the best countries on this continent. It has been performing poorly in terms of crime, in terms of the economy, yes. But South Africa is one of the best places to be on this continent. If it is not so nice, then why is everyone trying to come here? If we are so xenophobic, why is everyone still trying to come here? Personally, I think we have been too nice. The ANC has been naive, very naive. We as citizens have been too naive thinking the ANC will change the country for the better. The ANC will not. The EFF will not. Neither will the MK party. Why? Because they operate on the same principles. Hate all white people, love all black people, everything Africa is good and everything white skinned is bad. South Africa is a multiracial and multicultural country. We are one and that is the way it is. We need political parties that acknowledge that as our identity. We as citizens need to know, understand and accept that we are a diverse country. Ignore the divisive politicians and chart a course for our country. Ignoring the radical leftists who use identity politics to try and divide us. Illegal immigrants, whether white, black or Asian, must meet the strong arm of the law, period. To the skilled, law-abiding, hard-working immigrants that come to work in our country, Please feel welcome. We love you and accept you. Just don't do anything illegal. Respect our laws and you will see South Africa is as lovely, kind and generous as it is beautiful. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel if our content is to your liking. I'm Katlero. This is Citizen Concerned. And until next time, beware of the comrades.